Ray Flores for making the rounds on side here in New York as we get set for Miguel Cotto and Sergio Martinez tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden alongside a host of boxing royalty. To my left, Brian Campbell from ESPN.com, Dan Rayfio, and also former welterweight champion of the world, Tim Bradley. Dan, here in New York, the mecca of boxing. We're at a fever pitch for tomorrow night's matchup. Listen, uh, Ray, this has been one of the fights I've looked forward to for a long, long time. Miguel Cotto has been a tremendous warrior for a long time. Sergio Martinez has been a tremendous champion for many years. It's a historical fight, and I think it's going to be a great fight, and you know the Garden's going to rock. The Garden will no doubt be rocking. For you, Brian, everything that we've seen, a lot of animosity between the two parties. Definitely, you know, and Ray, that clearly has been adding to this promotion. You know, Martinez has, has not been not been pulling any punches coming out. You know, he's he's a little bit angry about some of the way that, that Cotto's treated him in the past. He's using that to fuel him. And I think what you have to like best about this fight, as much as we want to make a prediction based on Cotto being the bigger guy, with the injury factor, we really don't know who's going to win. And I think that's what really makes this exciting. The injury is a very interesting topic of conversation with the no not allowing of the knee brace for Sergio Martinez. Compliments of Miguel Cotto alongside. Tim Bradley. Wow. Tim, you fought many times with injuries inside yeah. the ring. Does this affect Sergio Martinez with his right knee? Absolutely. It does affect you. It does affect the way you train and prepare for the fight because you don't know if you can go 100%. When training, it's it's you go maybe about 85, 90%, but when somebody's in your face, it's fight time. I mean, it's full force, it's full throttle. I mean, uh, he, he really doesn't know how his knee's going to hold up, so it can affect you mentally. Do you see any way that he kind of, that Sergio doesn't have as much assertiveness early on in the fight as he normally does? Um, I don't see that. I don't. I honestly don't see that. Uh, I think Sergio's going to do what Sergio does, and that's box really well, move on Cotto, because uh, Sergio knows that Cotto don't really like guys that move in front of him. And uh, I think he's going to try to be very assertive early on, possibly apply some pressure on, uh, on Cotto, and uh, he's going to see how Cotto reacts to that. Dan, Miguel Cotto is 7-1 at Madison Square Garden. His last time that he fought here was against Austin Trout. He lost. Does he get back on the winning track at the Mecca of Boxing? You know, he picked the toughest fighter he could fight, probably. I mean, this, this is a guy that's a lot bigger, um, who's extremely experienced, who's shown some tremendous punching power with some big knockouts, had the knockout of the year one year. Um, I, if I said, if, if Sergio Martinez's knee is even close to good, you know, it's a tough night for Miguel Cotto, and I, I think we may see that second loss at the Garden for him. A 13-month layoff for Sergio Martinez, Brian. Does that at all influence him during the course of the fight? Miguel Cotto active, defeated Rodriguez back in October. Looked impressive in the process. I think that's definitely going to be a part of it. I mean, it's not just that layoff. He's also only fought once in the last 17 months. We know there's knee issues. Of course, it's been a big part of it. We also know the knee has kept him out really from maybe given the kind of, you know, running and conditioning that. So that could really play into his strategy and, and how hard he attacks Cotto in the early going. I think what that does, though, is add a lot of potential fireworks to the matchup, especially in the early rounds. Fireworks will be in abundance. Tim, you're prediction for tomorrow night between Sergio Martinez and Miguel Cotto? I really don't have a prediction. I, I think uh, me being a fan, I just want to see a great, uh, tremendous fight, and I think we're going to get that uh, this Saturday night because of the, the two fighters, because the way they fight. I mean, they're never in a dull fight. They're always an exciting fight, and uh, Martinez is a very, very tough opponent for Cotto, and Cotto's a very tough opponent for Martinez. I think that uh, right now, I think that the fight is pretty much even. We'll be here all week long making the rounds outside here in New York tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden. Sergio Martinez, Miguel Cotto for the Midway Championship of the World.